I woke up and I just saw crocodiles around. Hundreds of crocodiles around everywhere where we slept. You can see their eyes shining. It's like, okay, we better do this right because if not, we're gonna be in trouble. My name is Orlando Duque. I'm a professional cliff diver from Colombia. I have 13 world titles in cliff diving, two Guinness world records. This is a story when I went diving in Australia and was completely surrounded by crocodiles. And I was not expecting that. My career started as a, as a regular diver in a pool. What happens is all the pools are the same. You kind of lose that challenge, that emotion that the sport brings. So I decided to move to cliff diving because it was just a lot more exciting. In between competitions, we will try to search for these crazy places or different places to do some dives and um, take pictures. We were trying to get the sport to be known a little bit more. And then the idea of diving in Australia came. One of the Australian divers, he heard about some places and then he just proposed it to us. He said, hey, let's go on a trip. Let's get on a boat, go up the river and, and find some places to dive. I said, yes, immediately. Traveling to Australia, you always think about sharks, you always think about crocodiles, you always think about spiders. Uh, I always say like everything in Australia is trying to kill you, every animal. We had a paramedic traveling with us. He was a specialist on snakes. So he had a full kit of antidotes and anything we'll need in case we had a snake bite. And when you're landing and you look around and you don't see any houses, you don't see anything around you. It's just dirt around the airport. You, you know you're at an interesting place. The idea was the whole crew jumping on a houseboat and just going up river, searching for these places to dive. The river is really big, really big and wide. You know, it was really murky. The water, you couldn't see much of what was in the water. On traveling time, when we were moving from one point to the next, we would sleep in the boat, but then we'll arrive in this camping ground on the riverbanks and we'll sleep there. The first night we were sleeping, I woke up and I just saw crocodiles around. You hear something and immediately you grab your flashlight and then you're shining it at the crocodiles. If you shine the light to the river, you can see their eyes are shining, and then you can see how many crocodiles there is in the water. Of course, there's crocodiles around everywhere where we slept, but you're sleeping on a platform that is about one meter high, and you hear the crocodiles around you, but they cannot climb on top, you know? They cannot, they cannot go on top of the platform, but this is not a place where I can just go walk around and, and wander around without a problem. You know, I have to be really careful. It was myself, an Australian diver and a Russian diver. The Russian diver never left the boat. He, he wouldn't want to go on the campgrounds. He was really scared of animals. We were not really told like directly that we were gonna sleep outside, surrounded by crocodiles, but uh, I think if they told us ahead of time that that was gonna be the situation, uh, probably would have stayed in the boat. <laughs> when we're doing this diving at remote places, you know, you have to deal with what nature puts there for you. One time in Colombia, we were doing this project in an island called Martelo, which is this huge rock in the middle of the Pacific. By the time we start climbing up and we make our way up, there was this crabs just chewing on our climbing ropes. They were eating the rope. And, and <laughs> I, I mean, that's probably the worst thing that you want to see when your safety line is being chewed on by a crab. <laughs> we spent quite a few days on the river, found really nice places to dive and take pictures. But when you look across to the other side of the river, the whole other side of the river is just filled with crocodiles. Hundreds, 100, 200, 300 maybe. So all of them with their mouth open. My first reaction was to ask the guide. I'm like, hey, come over here. What happened? What's, what's up with the crocodiles? He's like, listen, don't worry about it. They're outside of the water during the day. They love to take the sun. You're not gonna see any of them in the water. Now you have to get off the boat. You have to go in the water. You have to climb the cliff. 
the first few times I will just get in the water for the dives. You know, I'm just in the water for the dive, out on the boat, and then back on the cliff. No swimming, no relaxing, no nothing. After the third or fourth day, we took out a boat, we were scurfing, we were riding boards on the river, we were swimming. We're a lot more relaxed. I, I mean, I don't know how fast the crocodile can swim, but, <laughs> but I, I had always in my mind that I could swim faster to the boat and get out in case of something. Thanks for watching and hit subscribe.